Hi, my name is Kimberly Dobin. I'm the trainer of Kimberly Dobin Dressage, located at the Classic Equestrian Center in Moore Park, California. I'm going to discuss with you the do's and don'ts on feeding on the trail for your horse. Although as a horse owner, we know our horses love to eat, and we know they love to eat grass, and they love to eat hay. While you're out on the trail, I best advise, unless you're going on a trail ride longer than six hours, that you try not to feed your horse anything but grass. Also, if your horse isn't used to getting live grass, it can be upsetting to the horse's stomach in large amounts. Do your best to make sure you know whether you're going on a short trail ride or a long trail ride and be prepared. For those of you who choose to go on a long trail ride, I recommend that you only, only and always feed your horse grass. Stay away from weeds because a weeds, you don't know what kind of weed they are, they could make your horse sick. Also, if you're going on a short trail ride, don't worry, your horse is fine without food for up to four to six hours. So you're fine not to feed your horse anything but the hay he gets at home. If you're going on your trail ride and it's longer than six hours and you may need to feed your horse, you can always bring with you in your saddlebag some Timothy hay pellets. I recommend those before feeding any other type of pellet. They're really easy to digest and they're healthy for your horse. You can also feed your horse alfalfa. That's alfalfa pellets are very good for your horse and they will give your horse a good source of energy. My name is Kimberly Dobin. I'm the trainer of Kimberly Dobin Dressage located at the Classic Equestrian Center in Moore Park, California. I just discussed with you the do's and don'ts of feeding your horse on the trail. Good luck on your ride.